What is up guys, Kyle Stevens here from CryptoCoinMastery.com bringing you a brand new video today talking about the upcoming SegWit 2x fork that is going to be occurring. If you guys don't know what forks are, if you are confused or if you're a beginner, make sure to go over to CryptoCoinMastery.com where we have tons of free resources for you to really learn a ton about cryptocurrency investing. If you go to our website and you go right up to free stuff, we have tons of different guides that are really going to enhance your trading skills and just your knowledge of the overall cryptocurrency ecosystem. But this video is very strongly about price movement based on the upcoming SegWit 2x fork that is going to be occurring here on December 28th of 2017. And if you guys don't really understand what a fork is, I want to just give a really quick analogy uh, so that you can fully understand what it is, especially if you're a beginner. The best way that I can explain a fork is by taking a restaurant, for example. And if we think about a restaurant and we think about the various meals that this restaurant makes, then let's just say that this restaurant has 10 chefs. And these chefs are all cooking this one type of meal in the same way. But a few of the chefs start deciding that they can cook this meal a little bit better by changing it up. They want to just change it up a little bit so that it becomes a little bit better. So they start cooking the meal in a different manner. And because of that, what happens is it kind of splits off. It's the same meal, like the, the base idea of it is the exact same thing, but they're a little bit different. And since people have different tastes and want different things, they're going to be used in different ways and that's what a bitcoin fork or a fork for any type of a currency is it's when a group of developers decide that they can create a better system to put in place for a certain type of cryptocurrency so that's what the bitcoin cash fork was that's what the bitcoin gold fork was and there have been a few other forks that have occurred but the segwit 2x fork is a very large fork and it's basically set to occur here in a couple of days. I'm not going to break down the exact uh, things that are going to be occurring. Basically, what SegWit2x is doing is it's increasing the block size. It's more of a, a forward-looking blockchain. Uh, they're looking to implement the Lightning technology. They're looking to implement smart contracts into uh, the Bitcoin side of things. So it's kind of more of that forward-looking, like we want to enhance Bitcoin rather than what Bitcoin is currently doing. And basically what happens is when these forks occur, depending on the exchange or the wallet that you're using. So before I say that you're automatically going to get um, the SegWit 2x coin, that's not 100% true. It totally depends on if your exchange is accepting it or not. So make sure to go onto your exchange's news and look up whether or not they are accepting it. Uh, if they aren't, then you won't receive it unless they eventually decide to accept it. So for example, I know Coinbase, when they did the Bitcoin cash fork, they did not originally offer the one-to-one -one, uh, Bitcoin to Bitcoin cash uh, transaction or uh, they didn't really honor it at the beginning. So if you had Bitcoin on Coinbase, you had not received it. But once they decided to accept Bitcoin cash a couple of days ago, we noticed that they actually did um, put that Bitcoin cash that you would have received at the fork into your account. So when deciding what to do here, the big question is, well, do I want Bitcoin in my account so that I can get the free coins, the free SegWit 2X coins, or do I want to just kind of leave my account how it is? Do I want to trade alts? How is the market going to look? And I'm basing everything that I'm going to talk about over how the market reacted in the past and how I think it's going to react yet again right now. And as you guys know, we were on this pretty big downtrend here and it would freak a lot of people out. If you were new, you probably didn't really know what to do. But if you were a person that's been in Bitcoin for at least six months, a year, you realize that this is 100% normal. And if you look at just basic technical analysis, not even having to do with any type of fork or any type of situation that's currently occurring, we'll see that Bitcoin hit this double bottom basically is what I'm going to call it right here. And a double bottom is a type of reversal pattern where basically 
the chart bounces off the resistance twice and then starts reversing in this positive direction and then it starts breaking through the resistance levels. I meant it bounced off the support twice and then breaks through resistance, which is very big because when we look at the, the trend that we had right here, let me show you, we see that in terms of this trend, that's probably going to be a rough estimate of that. And then we'll have another rough estimate right here. That was the trend that we were looking at. Oops, one minute. These, of course, are rough estimates. I'm breaking through some lines, but that's kind of how I like to draw um, my trend lines. And as you guys can see, remember, as I talk in videos and stuff and I do my training, I don't consider it a real break of a trend. I don't consider it a bearish to going to bullish or bullish going to bearish when it breaks trend lines. I consider it when it breaks resistance points. So this right here was a bearish trend that we were in. So we were trying to figure out if a bullish trend is beginning. So some people are going to tell you that this is technically right here when it breaks this trend line is technically where that bullish trend is beginning. Whereas I personally would say that the trend is starting right here when we broke through this resistance point. Oops. When we broke through this resistance point that we're looking at right here. So right there, since we broke above here, I think that that's a very positive sign for this trend forming. But I think even better is going to be if we can break right here, which is around 15,613 or just around there. And this is based on Bittrex and US dollar tether. So I think if we can break that point, then we're going to see a pretty good recovery here in terms of Bitcoin. Now, this is where this upcoming fork comes into play. People like free money, right? Who doesn't like it? So a lot of people are going to really try and capitalize on getting the coins that are being offered. They want to get the Segwit2x coins that uh, are being offered to them. So what happens and what has happened in the past is we see a major dilution of alts. We see alts start to tank and then we see Bitcoin start to basically rise in this positive direction. And the reason is because people are taking the money that they have in alts and they're putting it into Bitcoin so that they can receive the free funds. And that's one strategy that you can take. It's very um, controversial, not controversial, like anyone could make a good argument saying that uh, getting those free funds is a good idea. For example, Bitcoin Cash, getting those free funds would have resulted in a pretty good return, um, but it totally depends on how well that forked coin will do in the long term future because you are just getting that one to one ratio. So for example, if you are getting one of these new Segwit 2x coin, if it becomes only $500, then it's probably not worth it. Um, but if it becomes something that takes over Bitcoin or becomes something very widely used, then it's going to be more worth it to go after. So what happens is, like I said, these altcoins are going to start to drop. And we already saw this dilution um, simply from this jump right here. And what I think is going to happen is I think we're going to break this resistance level. It's going to bring a lot of positivity to Bitcoin. And we're going to start seeing a run back towards that 20,000 range over the next uh, few days, even the next week. Um, but I think we're also going to see this dilution of alts. But the big thing that I think we have to realize here is that this fork is occurring like very soon. Like it was <laughs> the announcement and like the movement based on it is occurring very, um, very close to when the actual fork is happening. And that's different than what happened in the past. In the past, what we saw is we saw this dilution start to occur a long time before, and that caused alts to really get beat down. But the one thing that I want to stress is we always saw a massive recovery. After the fork occurs, we will usually see alts start to skyrocket because people are starting to basically buy them so cheap that they want to jump right back in. So it's like they're benefiting from the fork and then they're trying to jump back into alts while they're cheap. So it's kind of a catch-192. You can either go for Bitcoin or you can place your bets on altcoins and try and pick those up as they start getting cheaper and cheaper before the fork comes. 
And I think the main thing that we have to realize here is it's all about a percent change. It's all about how well is it going to affect my portfolio. If you have one Bitcoin right now and your portfolio is worth $15,000, whatever um, that number is, if you have one Bitcoin, you're going to get one um, of this new Segwit2x coin. And so you have to look and you have to start to realize, well, how much is that coin going to be worth? How much is that going to help enhance my portfolio? Or am I going to get a higher rate of return if I invest in alts? Because it's really about rate of return, whether you get free money or not. If that only ends up being um, $150, well, that's only a 1% return that you just received. Now, I know it depends long term and that can all vary. But in the grand scheme of things, you have to really focus on really what is going to be the true rate of return of the coin at that point in time. So whether or not you should really invest in alts, I think you have to focus on if you have these alts for long term holds or not. And the way that I'm looking at my portfolio and the way I'm making choices is yes, I think it's a good idea to get free coins whenever you can get them. And I think that this Segwit 2x fork is going to be pretty big deal because I think it uh, is very forward thinking as I mentioned earlier on. And because of that, I think that the rate of return on it could be pretty good. But here's the thing, guys. I would not sell your altcoins at a loss, especially if you're at a decent like 10, 20, 30% loss right now. I wouldn't sell those coins to get the free coins of the free Segwit 2x coin. My reasoning for that is because I'm very much in a belief that we're going to see alts take off yet again and make that strong recovery. So I don't see that selling at a loss is necessarily going to be the biggest benefit for you. Where I really see people being able to benefit here is if you're at a significant gain. I always talk about capturing gains and focusing on making that growth in your total Bitcoin portfolio value. I recently made a video about that. And because of that, I want you guys to realize that this would be the time to start capturing gains because this could be a moment where we're going to see a pretty strong dilution of altcoins. And because of that, if you capture your gains now, if you're at 30, 40, 50%, whatever the number, if you capture the gains now, then you're going to be able to have the opportunity to jump back in when it's cheaper. So if you're able to do this in a strategic manner, you can become very successful and really boost your portfolio value like a pretty large amount. So based on just the experience that I have, my real suggestion is to take a look at your portfolio. If you're at a loss on alts, just wait it out. Right? Just don't really do anything because you should only be investing in these coins if you truly believe in them. And the craziness that's going to go on over the next few days is going to start straightening out eventually. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about it. I would just step away from your computer. If you're at significant gains and coins that you really don't necessarily want to hold long term, like if they're just coins that you bought into and you have an awesome gain and you're kind of looking at when a good time might be to get out, then Go ahead, sell those coins into Bitcoin, get your free coin, uh, your Segwit 2x coin, and go from there. You could look into buying back into those coins after they dilute. Now, the big thing that I want you guys to realize here is you have to do your research. You have to make sure the exchange you are on supports the coin. If you're going to move funds into Bitcoin, you really have to focus on the fact and understand that when this fork occurs, it's usually very hectic. You can't count on exchanges and you can't count on the fact that you're going to be able to make quick moves with any of these funds once any of this occurs. So if you are going for the fork, you're probably not going to be able to jump back into alts at that cheaper price. So I want you guys to realize that. So if you're in Bitcoin right now and you see alts dropping and your goal is to just boost alts as much as possible, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump out of Bitcoin probably as close to the fork as possible because that's most likely going to be when alts have been diluted the most up until that point. So I know this video might have been a little confusing and there was kind of a lot of information, but it really comes down to doing your research and understanding how it affects the market. And in a general sense, all that's going to happen here 
most likely, and obviously I'm just basing it on historic trends, is we're going to see Bitcoin start making pretty significant runs. We're going to see a strong sell-off by alts, and then after the fork, we're going to see a pretty big rebound by those altcoins when investors are trying to put their money back into them. So take that information, take everything that I talked about in this video, and focus on creating a strong game plan for yourself as an investor so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below but i will see you guys in the next video peace out